What's up, y'all? It's your boy Eric Flo. And um in this video we're gonna talk about the tragedy that took place in Best Stop, Brooklyn. Um Rest in peace to one of the young kings that passed away. One of my homies that hit me up told me about it. I had heard about it, but I ain't really want to look too much into it. I'm tired of hearing about stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But as I went and looked into it after the homie told me I should, I was very disappointed to hear what I heard, but at the same time, I could understand, you know, what happened from, you know, a perspective of, let me just get into the story, right? So apparently, one young king, you know, his mother was at McDonald's. Bed Stuy, my, let me tell you a little bit about Bed Stuy for people that's not from New York. Bed Stuy, depending on where you at, because there's nice parts of Bed Stuy, right? People know about Bed Stuy for Biggie Smalls, recipes, Biggie Smalls, Notorious B.I.G. B I G. Um, you know, and Bed Stuy, you know, it, it got brownstones and all that. It just depend on what part of Bed Stuy, because it's pretty Bed Stuy. And from the looks of what I saw, it looked like they was in gritty Bed Stuy. Meaning that whoever these people with is that hired those workers to work at that McDonald's, probably, like, you gotta think about it, right? I've worked certain jobs where depending on where you work is how they hire people. They will wanna hire somebody for McDonald's that got an aura of like he can handle uh, somebody being aggressive, things of that nature, right? Even the security company I used to work for, you know what I'm saying? I tried to put somebody on with the security company and when she spoke to who I tried to put on, lady called me back, she like, why would you put me on him? I'm like, what? She like, he sound like he sold. I'm like, oh, I'm like, that's crazy. He's like, listen, I've been in the field this long. Like, I don't need nobody working for this company that that, that can't take what come with it. Because, you know, we was doing all project buildings all through Brooklyn. Project buildings meaning, like, buildings in the hood where it ain't safe at. You know what I'm saying? So, just to give y'all that perspective, like, yeah, Best Style is very gritty energy, very tense energy. You know, Brooklyn drill take place over there. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of... A lot of hoods, when you walk through them hoods, you just feel darkness, you feel heaviness. You feel like you get into it, your spidey senses be tickling walking through them hoods. First thing you thinking is like, I don't belong here. What am I doing? I need to get up out of here. I need to get away from this hood. Especially if you go to the hood and people outside giving you that look, trying to see if you from there, trying to see if you the op. You don't just don't feel like, you feel like you wasting your time. You know what I'm saying? Communities like that made me appreciate communities like these. You know what I'm saying? I'm downtown, low in Manhattan, where it's really nice at. So now let's get into the story, right? Now, and tell me what your perspective is, what you heard about this situation, whatever, because, you know, I'm just hearing about this today, right? So, lady walks into the McDonald's, you know, like, let me get a... Uh, now, nah, let me stop playing. Um... Lady walks into McDonald's, and one thing I wanna say too is, people gotta stop acting like they actually really, should I say that? Let me be real, right? Cause y'all know how I do. People would try to, you know how I just was joking around just now? People would try to make it seem like they are so taken back and hurt. Like people that do these kind of YouTube videos about situations try to act, bro. I don't know him. I don't know none of these people. It's just a tragic situation that I'm speaking on, bro. Because some one of my men wanted me to speak on it, so I'm speaking on it. And I feel like a lot of people are tuned into this. For me, that's it. Like, I'm going to be real. That's it. Now, let's get into the story, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, people, like, at the end of the day, the story went viral, right? Bunch of people speaking on their take of the situation. And I got people that probably not in tune with that side of town or that side of the, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna put it out there too. I'm gonna get my bread too, just like everybody else doing, right? People monetizing videos and speaking about situations that don't got nothing to do with them. I could do it too. What are you saying? You know what I'm saying? So a 
apparently son mother is in there ordering the food right she ordered her prior burger with some french fries next thing she knows she went to go check the french fries and the french fries was cold so shorty was tight shorty was like she found out that they was cold after she left came back and was like yo my french fries cold she probably like no big deal you know what i'm saying they going they gonna hook me up they give her two minutes later boom, boom, you know what i'm saying real fast they put a bag of french fries in there she leave realize they still cold number one first of all like how how is it that let's say if that was an honest mistake for the second time if that was an honest mistake why you how you picked up a bag of fries and you ain't know that they was not hot so it's like you can't get mad at how shorty reacted when she came back now shorty is tight let me tell you something about low vibrational people let's talk about it from a spiritual aspect this is why i'm really speaking on this because i'm gonna talk about it from a spiritual aspect i'm not gonna try to sit here and sugarcoat what i want to say because like no bro like we're gonna really speak on it this is what i do you know what i'm saying i don't know these people everybody out here speak about certain things you're gonna be mad at somebody go on the internet that's speaking about it when yet if i wasn't on the internet bro i don't even gotta say all that whatever from a spiritual aspect first of all low vibrational people are already on edge low vibrational people meaning you don't have no business at a mcdonald's number one you don't have no business eating mcdonald's that food is gonna kill you fries loaded with salt loaded you know what i'm saying give you diabetes you keep eating that you know what i'm saying like number two you picked up them bag of fries that was cold and gave it back to that lady why would you do that because people at a low vibration that's in the trenches they ready for smoke people always thinking about that bro if you live in the trenches people thinking like all right somebody play with me i'm not gonna let them play with me don't nobody in the trenches in new york play about that even people mother don't play about that even white people don't play about that nobody nobody so Shorty came back, she was tight, talking about, yo, y'all gave me the same bag of fries, what's up? Apparently, they started laughing in the back, thinking it was a game. So, you know, Shorty felt like she was probably being bullied, you know what I'm saying? Like, probably felt like they was, you know, being disrespectful. And first thought that probably crossed her mind was like, because she got a son. Her son is in the streets, let's just be real, allegedly. Because if her son wasn't in the streets, then he would not have had a weapon on him, allegedly. Because when she called them, you know what I'm saying? She called them telling them what happened. Like, yo, they over here laughing at me. I came back. The second time I come back, they're giving me my fries and it's cold. Me? Mind you, I don't got a good relationship with my mom. Let's say we did. Or even if we, even if we didn't. And it was really that deep where she had to call me about something like that. I'm not going to be able to, like, stop the fact that I'm going to want to slide. Because that mother love is just different. Whether you got it from her or not, you're going to love your mother. So, apparently, son is hot. He probably hung up the phone. I don't really know about what happened at that part, but that part don't even matter. Because we already know what time it is. Even the softest person is pulling up. Now, me personally, somebody, my mom's called me, we cool, and she tell me that that's going on, that I'm immediately gonna be wrapped in fire. And as soon as I get there, literally from the moment that I open that door, I'm turning up. I'm a loser. Soon as I walk in that door, I be like, yo, you good? Like, yo, what's going on in here? Like, everything all right? Like, you know, this is my mom's right here, right? I'd have been wildin'. I'd have been wildin'. Y'all get the point. I don't got to do too much of that. I'm not trying to scare these people out here. But you get the point. Right? I'd have been like... And then I'd have, if, if they would have made any funny move, I'd have been ready to hop that table, bro. And especially if I had the grip on me, allegedly... What? I'm definitely bringing that with me. 
You know what I'm saying? Because now you playing with my mother? Like, first of all, let's talk about a dude that ended up dying, which is one of the dudes that was laughing. He ended up dying. Brain damage, then he died, apparently. Let's be real. I heard that they was talking about this dude was a good kid. You know how they talk about when somebody die. Oh, my God, he was a good kid, this, that, and the third. If he was a good kid, how come he didn't have enough common sense to respect somebody's mother? How? He was a good kid. He was paying for school. He had two jobs. Right? Let's talk about the fact that he was probably stressed out going crazy. Because, yeah, he living at home with you, working at McDonald's and working another whack second job. You know what I'm saying? Trying to pay for his school and all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, first of all, he could not have been raised right. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. His mother that was in the video crying and all that, it's her fault that he made that idiot decision. It's her fault. It's not even his fault. It's her fault. Let's be real. Y'all know how I do. We gonna really talk about it, bro. It's her fault. Because he shouldn't have had no business at that McDonald's feeling like he could run his mouth or be cute like that in front of and, and try to and violate somebody's mother like that, bro. Like, you asking for it, bro. You are literally, you you might as well have prayed to God and asked to get killed playing with somebody's mother, bro. You might as well have got on your knees and prayed to die that day. Because if he would not have got you that day, he know you work at that McDonald's. It would have been get back season. Are you, come on, bro. It's funny that you end up having, dying from brain damage when you literally had brain damage in that moment. Like, let's pay attention to that on a spiritual level. You got to be, you could, like, something got to be wrong with you mentally to be playing with somebody's mother that didn't do nothing, bro. She just want her food to go about her business. Y'all joking around like y'all little kids. What are y'all doing? You know what I'm saying? Let's be real. Right? So, son, see what's up. He arguing with them when he get there. They still, you know, they ganging up on him. And dude that got shot, you know what I'm saying, took him out. So it's up and all that, egging it on. Because how you end up outside? Apparently, he ended up outside getting killed outside of the McDonald's. After the, like, while the situation was taking place. The mother said that boy shouldn't have came outside, you know, coming at my son. Because, oh, now you want to come outside and play? And you playing with my mother? Oh, my God. God, I would have lost my mind, bro. Like, are you crazy? Like, how you can't put yourself in that situation? Like, you got to be an agent. Like, even if you are caught up in your own world. Let me chill. I'm not trying to scare these white folks out here. Even if you caught up in your own world where you can't see how other people may have a perspective about, you know, like, you got a mother. Everybody got a mother, bro. Like, how could you not put one and two together and be like, even when the dude got there, like, I'd have been real enough to be like, you know what? I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. I got you. Matter of fact, I got y'all with a meal on me. Like, you can't play with that. Ain't you in best style. You don't know what gang this, this dude rep that pulled up on you. You just being, you, you're not smart. But it's not his fault that, you know, rest in peace to him. But we're going to talk about it. Because I also hate when YouTubers get on here talking about situations and they beating around the bush. We already know you speaking about the situation because you're trying to get paid, right? We already know you're speaking about the situation because you're looking for people to tune into the video because you're talking about something that people are going to want to tune in with. We already understand this side of YouTube. Let's be real. Feel me? I've been on YouTube for two years not getting no bread. It's time for me to get paid. So everything I speak about, I'm getting my money. I don't care what nobody. I'm going to speak on it, bro. Right? But let's, let's talk about it from the real facts. Let's talk about the facts. Right? You don't know this dude. I would have, bro, I'd have put, he'd have pulled up like that and been upset for his mother. I could understand that. I would have not had no anger in my heart to be arguing with somebody that's mad about his mother. He could have said anything, bro. He'd be like, what? You, uh, he could have cursed me out and said anything, bro. Once I'd have finally realized what was happening, I'd have been like, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You got it, bro. I swear to God on everything I love, I would never play with nobody mother, bro. I don't care how much beef. Yo, I'm going to keep it real. Maybe I'm not going to say that allegedly because I don't know. You know, it's levels to it's levels to this, to that beef. It's levels to beef. But what I will say is that 
in a situation like that, I'm folding because I'm not, I don't got to be tough 24-7. See, that's what happens when you want to be tough 24-7. You play with somebody's mother, and then now you got shot and killed. See, look, YouTubers is afraid to speak about a situation from, th from that real. You chose to play with somebody's mother, so you got exactly what you asked for. Let's be real. Any dude that's a, a man in this world know that. But yo, I want to get on YouTube and, and, and talk about it from perspective, like trying to tread lightly. Yo, bro, this just the facts. What I'm scared to talk the facts for, right? So you came outside. You don't even, I've been in a situation like that. I was about to fight a dude on my block. Y'all know, if you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? Um, allegedly, he pulled out a knife and I didn't expect that. I didn't know what situation I was in until I was in it. So how you that mad that somebody pulled up to, to stand up for their mother? And so let's talk, let's talk about, let's really talk about it. You wanted to prove a point to them female coworkers. Let's, let's talk about it. Stop doing that. Uh, hopefully y'all, I'm trying to teach y'all a lesson. Cause this is what it's really about. Teaching people a lesson about young kids that make dumb decisions and die for it. Now I could teach other young kings to not make the same mistake. That's what it's all about. His life is gone. He's out of here. But what about the other young kings? This is what it's about. It's about y'all. It's about y'all young kings that would end up making the same mistake if I didn't really speak on it from the raw and the uncut. You know what I'm saying? So you want to act tough in front of women. That's what some was probably thinking like, oh, oh, you think it's sweet. It's some shorties back here. Oh, you don't want to look like you saw for the girls. Any real dude that want to take your face off trying to act tough for some women, bro. That's like the biggest trigger for any man on this planet. When they see some women around, it's almost like you can feel the energy of a dude trying to impress women. You just know when you know, and that's going to make you 10 times more mad. Like, oh, word. Oh, word. We out. We outside. What's up? Let's do what we do away from the women. Let them watch you from the drive through window and watch you get popped in your face. That's how I would have been thinking, bro. I'd have been like, oh, word. And I got it on me. I wouldn't have said that. I'd have been like, oh, word. What's up? So what you want to do? Because I don't want to argue with you in front of people no more. Now I want you to come outside and show me that you really like that. So now he came outside and, oh, you don't want to play figures. You want to, oh, you want to, oh, you want to do that to my mother, right? Once I do this, his heart would have dropped to the floor. I'd have been like, oh, you thought it was funny playing with somebody and mother like that? You think it's a game? Come on, like, I understand where son came from that killed him. You know what I'm saying? His mother that, if the son that died, his mother trying to talk about he was a good kid. No, 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 no. You did not raise your son right. He did not have the proper principles. And this be the problem with mothers, bro. This be the problem. Y'all be the reason why y'all kids be dying, bro. Y'all be the reason because if you would have told him to have respect and to move a certain way, he would not have been had acting, you know, um, acting like that at McDonald's. Like, how you acting like you somebody at McDonald's? Let's really talk about it. Let's really talk about it. How you at McDonald's laughing and joking around anyway? I'd have been over there tight. How you, how you even having fun over there? Like, this is how people be when there's women around. Like, you know, you, like, what's up? Like, you forgot that you, 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 you probably, he probably was the dude in the back making sandwiches and all that. You putting a sandwich together. You putting the fries in a bag. And you over here laughing and joking, bro. For what? What's funny? You work at McDonald's. What are you laughing about? That's not a funny situation. You're supposed to be over there. Get your bread. Get low. You in a pot. You in a hood. You in bed. Stop. Get your money and get out of there. That's it, bro. That's what you do when you work in the streets. You get your bread and you get low. You know what I'm saying? Like, we were going to really talk about it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to say this. I apologize for anybody feelings that this going to hurt. I genuinely do. But I cannot, I'm not holding my tongue. We're going to talk about it for the real. I don't mean no literal disrespect. I don't want no problems with nobody that has to do with son that died or nothing like that. I'm genuinely sorry if I hurt y'all feelings if y'all see this video. But I got to speak about it because there's young kings out here that I do not want to make the same mistake, bro. You at your job, you better not ever try to impress no females. You at your job, you better not ever play with nobody food, bro. Imagine you starving and hungry and somebody playing with your food. And you an older lady that can't really defend yourself because they don't respect the fact that you tight and you telling them how tight you is as an older woman and, and they do. You 
not gonna want to call your son, but like, I mean, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say that she was wrong for calling her son because you definitely should have known that your son was gonna pull up and it was gonna be, it was gonna be damage done. You should have probably heard it in his voice that, oh, you done messed up. My mom, bro, she done called me about that and I'm living with my moms and all that. She called me, talking about, and he was right up the block. He was like, on my way, I'm right here. Bro, I'm not even trying to ask no questions. Who is it? Not? I'm pulling up and I'm turning up that whole McDonald's. I don't care who's in there eating. I don't care who in the back don't got nothing to do with that. Y'all better check y'all coworker. Because I got it on me, little do you know. So his friends that was his, apparently his friends at that job, they wasn't really his friends. Because I'd have been his man's been like, yo, chill, you bug it, bro. Like, that's somebody, what are you doing? Like, this is a problem with childish people. It's the problem with parents that don't raise their kids right and your kids be out here in the world. You you acting, you having fun at McDonald's, laughing and joking, playing with people food when you knew daggone well that, that them fries was not hot. You supposed to pick up that bag or before you pick it up, put your hand on it like that. You know, bro, why are you playing, bro? What, what, like for what? And I be hating people at McDonald's. Let me talk about it. Y'all be trying to act like y'all get paid to give me an extra sweet and sour sauce. You know how tight I used to be about that? I used to be like, yo, let me get an extra sauce. You go in a big box of sweet and sour and you pick up one egg. Give me like three of those. Yo, bro, I just did an Uber Eats delivery for somebody. Yesterday, they asked for Taco Bell. I went to Taco Bell, got their order. The bag was already open, right? They wanted 10 mild sauces. I, bet I grabbed a whole handful of them and I put it in the bag and I closed the bag up. Like, what's the big deal? I'm out here wilding, but I had to get this off my chest. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's whack. That y'all be really over there having attitudes. You have to understand on a spiritual level that the energy that you put out is what you will get back. You want to give everybody your attitude, but then be mad like somebody supposed to treat you like you're the greatest person on earth. Well, yeah, you be at McDonald's all day giving people a hard time with their food. Mad when somebody come up to you and ask you about if they food ready. They hungry, bro. Like, I be doing Uber Eats sometimes and somebody might hit me up and be like, oh, are you here yet? I understand you hungry, bro. I got you. I'm respectful. I be like, I, I'm, I'm almost there. You know what I'm saying? I'm right here. Or give me a second or everything's fine. Like, you don't got to worry about your order. You know what I'm saying? I, I'll be there. I'll be there as soon as I possibly can. Like, this, you, you know what it's like when your, your stomach touching and you starving? But, oh, let me, let me, let me, you know what I'm saying? Oh, let me guess. You one of them. Like how most low vibrational people be, you feel like somebody just woke up to today this morning to 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 get on your nerves. A random GTA pedestrian that work at McDonald's. That's how y'all be moving. Like we just decided to make y'all job harder than what it is. When I'm just trying to get up out this this wax smelling hot. Uh, I mean, no, not all of McDonald's is, is wax smelling and hot, but like like even bro, like I'm just trying to get my food and eat it. That's all. I'm not trying to give you no... Oh, man, bro. Son popped him. Son got arrested. Son ended up admitting to another murder that he did, apparently, allegedly, like, two years ago. I don't know why he did that. Number one, why would you do that? Why would you tell on yourself? It was, Like, what, what was the point of that? You just made your situation ten times worse. Now you for sure out of here. He shot son when he came outside. Pal. He had brain damage, critical damage, and then apparently, allegedly, I mean, no, I think he ended up dying. In fact, he died, right? And everybody acting like they so surprised, like, dude just walked in there just to take your son's life. Like, like you matter that much that somebody wanted to kill your son. That's how some of these mothers be acting. Like, did you forget that you did not? <laughs> like, you are not, bro, you don't matter that much. Your son did something. And talk about that. And don't try to make it seem like just because that's your son. Like, yo, bro, if my son was to die like that, I'm not going to sit here and cap. I'm going to talk the real. I'm going to be like, you know what? No, see, this is why parents can't even do that. I even caught myself not wanting to do that. They don't even want to take that kind of accountability. That's tough. Even that was tough for me, and I'm not even in the situation. So accept that you did a bad job parenting your child, and they out here acting a fool. You know what I'm saying? But that's regular in the black community. That's why nobody really surprised. It's not really no rallies going on like how they was doing for George Floyd. I mean, no, they, apparent, so y'all only care about doing rallies, uh, apparently Black Lives Matter, for when so, oh, somebody white kills somebody black, 
But y'all ain't doing Black Lives Matter for when black on black crime. That is the greatest amount of crime that's going on uh, uh, with black people. We killing each other. But that's a whole nother conversation. But rest in peace to both of those dudes. Because I don't even think son is coming out of jail. She lost her son. I'm going to tell you something. This is what the mother should have also probably did. Right? Instead of calling your wild son that you knew before you called him that you, you knew he was going to pull up. She knew that already. She already knew. Before you called your wild son, you should have just been like, you know what? Give me my money back. And I'm going to go eat somewhere else. Rather than telling your wild son about that when you know what time. It's like, how selfish can you be? It's selfish no matter how you want to look at it. How selfish can you be to know that your son is wild enough to want to do all that? You know what I'm saying? Wild enough. I'm not saying she knew he had a gun. But you know that he was going to come in there and, and turn something up. Right? Because you felt embarrassed and disrespected. So you wanted to get revenge. Like how most women do. Like... I mean, most women that's at a low vibration, especially, they want revenge in some way, shape, or form. Now, imagine the guilt that that mother feel from knowing that she is the reason why her son is in there because it's her fault. You were supposed to tell your son about that after you went and had went to another restaurant and got some some else. This is how you avoid problems. I would have did that. People playing with my food. I'm not about to be in there going to jail. All they're gonna do is call the cops on me. I'm a black man with a lot of anger in me when i get mad you're gonna get scared i don't care how much bigger you are you're gonna feel like you gotta defend your life ask the dude from my hood that was bigger than me but he pulled out a knife on me i got that energy you know what i'm saying but that was my perspective on that the raw perspective because this is what i'm gonna bring to the table on youtube i'm out of this y'all man salute be safe out here bro all right